Before I get started, two days ago I talked about British film and movies and the direct, uh, directive, how it is allowed to be shown unlimited in the EU. Um, some people answered in the comments that they are in English and that's why people want to see it because English is the most important language. They just forget one thing. For example, in Germany, everything on TV, and I literally mean everything, and almost everything on Netflix and so on is dubbed in German. So nobody cares what the original language was. So that argument doesn't work in the beginning. And uh, there are some exceptions, like, for example, on Netflix, if I ever have time to watch something, I really like to watch, as I've said several times, Korean series and movies. They just have subtitles and are not dubbed in the most cases. Some are, but not many. And um, I watch that because I, I like those series and movies. I don't understand Korean at all. I have to read. But still, I watch them because I like those. But I don't care of the original language of anything. So, just wanted to mention that that there is an argument about language which really doesn't work. So, but let's get into the topic of today. And that's something Germany is doing for British immigrants. Because the German government has told employers that until the end of 2021, they can continue to trust the word of British citizens on their right to live and work in Germany after Brexit. The change came with little fanfare in a minor tweak to a memo on the Interior Ministry's website and was soon picked up by citizens' rights campaign groups um, of British in Germany. The memo reads, until the end of 2021, you can trust a statement by UK nationals and their family members to have a right of residence under the withdrawal agreement. You can at least always assume that this is the case if the entitled employee was living in Germany on 31st of December 2020. Previously, officials had only advised employers to follow this trust policy until June 30th, the date by which British citizens are advised to register with the local foreigners office of Deutsch in German Ausländerbehörde. While registering with the foreigners office is not a prerequisite for securing post-Brexit withdrawal agreement rights in Germany, it is currently the only way for Brits to be issued a residency card which confirms those rights. However, with around a week to go until the June deadline, many British citizens in Germany are still waiting for their card. With a revised guidance for employers, the ministry appears to be acknowledging the long lag that many Brits have faced between their post-Brexit appointments and receiving their new residency title. While most German states have been conducting appointments since the start of the year, some Brits have been left waiting up to three months for their car to arrive with no way to prove their right to remain or work in the country. And that's why they came up with that trust policy. In a survey carried out by the local on Brits' experiences of their securing um, their rights, around three quarters of respondents said they had already had their appointment, but only half of these had received the documentation. If your employees are covered by the withdrawal agreement, they are entitled to work for you even if they do not have the relevant document the Ministry for the Interior said in that statement to employers. If you know that your employee is entitled, you are not required to take any further steps. British citizens are covered by the withdrawal agreement if they were resident in Germany before January 1st, when the post-Brexit transition period officially ended and Britain left the single market and the customs union of the EU. This gives them broadly the same rights as EU citizens to live and work in Germany, but without onward free movement rights around the European Union. According um, to the Ministry, the trust policy should apply to both current UK employees who were working for the company before the cut-off date and new employees who are due to start this year. 
In some cases, it may take the authorities until the end of 2021 to finalize the processing of the residency document they set. And so this absolutely makes sense to continue the trust policy until then. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.